Hi, I'm Leoma Wells from the American Cemental Association, and I am the project manager for the Cowherd DNA Roundup Project. We have been getting lots of questions about the all-flex tissue sampling units and how to properly collect them. So I'm going to go ahead and do a demonstration on how you can properly collect a TSU sample and make sure that it gets shipped to us um, with fluid still in the tube and then it'll be usable for DNA testing. So first of all, you need an applicator gun. Yes, this is different than an ear tagging gun. You cannot take your ear, your all flex ear tagger and go and collect a DNA sample. So you have to get a specific gun that you can purchase from American Cemental for $35 or you can find any local all flex distributor and get one from them as well. So if you, once you have your applicator gun, we ship out the all flex tissue sampling units in boxes of 10. So you can see here that they come in boxes of 10 and they are all labeled uh, with their barcode off of the side of the TSU and all ready to go. So if I were collecting a sample, I have my box of 10, cow is loaded in the chute, I would take the sample out, load your TSU into your gun, and like I said, it should fit in there, the grooves. So it ends up looking like that. And then if you click your gun, you heard it click, and then you take your red guidance system, think of this like a rocket ship, take your red guidance off and you can throw that away. So you are left with the TSU loaded in the gun, ready to go. If you take the ear of the animal, so here's my cow's ear, doesn't matter where you punch this hole, okay? But you want to come at it typically from the back side is best. And if you take it, go through the ear of the animal. They might flinch, they might jerk away. I mean, it is, you're putting a hole in their ear, as you can see. And so if you do that, then you are left with this in your gun, okay? You're gonna take your tissue out of the gun and as you can see, what you're looking for, the person who's handling your gun, you are looking for the presence of tissue in there. And you can clearly see that I did get tissue loaded in the tube. You are also looking to make sure that this red cap on the top is completely sealed. And if those two things are done, you're good to go. And then to eject the, I guess it would be the whole part, from the all-flex tissue sampling unit, you simply jerk back and that ejects it and then you're ready to go and load your next TSU. And then what you want to do is you want to look in your tube, okay? And you should be able to clearly see on your tube your tissue sample inside of the tube. If the tissue is not present in the tube, then you have not properly collected your sample. You also want to double check that the end right here, the red seal, is all the way pressed down into the tube. If it comes into the association and the red seal has not been pressed, then what happens is all this liquid in your TSU leaks out in transit and all that's left is the tissue and that sometimes is not usable for DNA testing, okay? So you wanna make sure that you are doing everything on your end um, to ensure that these are viable for testing. So once you've collected your sample, then you want to make sure that whoever is recording the information shoot side notes down what cow was collected on that TSU. So in this case, we're going to say A51. So someone would simply write down A51 or however you can identify that cow within your herd. And then you take the TSU that you collected and you stick it right back in there. And what it does is that is an excellent way to store all of your TSUs in barcode order, and then you have which female has been collected on which TSU. You can do that all the way down, and if you end up having some of the samples that you don't use and you need to ship these into me, you simply take a pair of scissors and you cut through the cardboard. Okay, and I'm going to show you. So these inserts in the boxes come out, and so you can just take this insert out, and then you simply just cut the line. You keep the unused TSUs because you've paid for those. And then you ship the other TSUs into me here at the office if you're participating in the Cowherd Roundup project. 
And so that is an excellent way to keep them stored and organized shoot side and hopefully alleviate any questions or fuss when you get back up to the house and you wonder which cow got collected on which TSU. So if you have any further questions about TSUs, how to properly handle them, contain them, um, give us a shout. I will show you one more item to note. A lot of times our Simmental cows, especially up here in the north, are a little bit fuzzy in the ears. So you can see that this one came in with a little bit of hair attached to it. The biggest thing with that is it doesn't bother the DNA sample, but you wanna make sure that the seal gets properly sealed. So especially when you have that much hair in there, you number one wanna check that there is a tissue sample inside. And number two, you need to check that your red top is sealed because it has quite a bit of hair poking out there. So you don't want this to arrive and not have any fluid left in the tube. So for any TSU tissue sampling unit questions, please uh, give us a call or send us an email. We're more than happy to help you out. We realize that sometimes this is not intuitive, especially the first couple times that you do it, uh, but we hope that it'll get more routine as you continue going. And it's an excellent tool to use shoot side because it doesn't slow down the process through the shoot. So just so, to wrap up, if you do have any questions, our email is cowdna at simgene.com. The sim part has two M's and gene is like genetics, cowdna at simgene.com. Thank you and have a wonderful day.